Weeks have passed since Halloween, and Wilbur still hadn't forgot about what happened. But this didn't affect his work, nor his behavior, as he continued to happily work on solo. Thankfully for him, winter fully arrived, with lots of snow, and Christmas was approaching rapidly, so he could take his mind off and enjoy the holiday season. His rest, however, didn't last very long. One day, Wilbur was taking a goods train up to Kilda, but the Turks were particularly cheeky that day. As he was approaching Edward Station, one of the couplings snapped. Unfortunately, Wilbur didn't take much notice. Stop it back there! The single man saw what happened and diverted the runaway trucks onto a siding, bashing it to the buffers. The signal man then telephoned the next one, allowing Uber to stop and come back. <sighs> These troublesome trucks never behave. To make matters worse, the yellow twins were coming up from the opposite line and didn't lose the opportunity to tease poor Wilbur. Oh dear, it looks like you didn't stop at Boko, but learned from Edward too. Be thankful cows didn't cause that. <laughs> no, we ignore them, Wilbur. It's just an old story. Um, to end it's being afraid of a cow. <laughs> Wilbur soon coupled up to the trucks again and went off carrying out his job. A few days later, on Christmas Day, he met the fat controller in Nafford. Ah, the Wilbur. I need you to help the other engines at the big yard. Now, I know it is Christmas, but the demand is really high, and I need all the help I can get. Right away, sir. But he soon realized... Oh, not those two again. Well, 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 look who it is, the Blue Caterpillar. Wilbert had no intent on responding and went back to shunting. The trucks were troublesome and up to mischief that day as Bill and Ben were trying to shut them up, biffing and bashing them all around the yard. Wilbert noticed and became worried. Not to bother or anything, but I think you shouldn't bump the trucks around like this. You're certainly not going to make them stop. And what do you know? We've been working at the clay pits for a long time, and we've shunted more trucks than you ever will. Wilbur simply let off steam and calmly replied, Suit yourself, then. Towards the end of the afternoon, Wilbur had finished his work and headed for Tidmouth. While Bill and Ben still had to deliver a goods train of supplies for the winter, The trucks thought it was an excellent opportunity to get back at them. Come on, Ben. The sooner we leave these trucks, the sooner we'll get to the Christmas party. I know, I know. I'm trying. They approached Gordon's steep hill at a steady pace. Come on! They pulled and pulled with every ounce of steam when at last... We did it! Take that, troublesome trucks! But they didn't give up just yet. They started laughing and bumping against the twins, pushing them down the hill! Whoa! Brakes! Brakes, Bill! What do you think I'm doing? They soon picked up speed and rocketed down the hill towards the station. The signal man at the stage who acted quickly and diverted the train onto the siding. Oh, oh! What do you mean, oh, oh? Brace yourself! For what? Ouch! The twins crashed against the buffers and lay down on the cold snow. They weren't happy at all now, but in fact, they were feeling sorry for themselves. Bill and Ben's driver and fireman checked them all over and then talked to them. I'm sorry Bill and Ben, but we're heading home. There's still a bus that we can catch. 
The problem is that no one is scheduled to pass through here until Henry's Kipper tonight. They're all probably at the party by now. The engines could do nothing but to say goodnight to their crew and wait. Meanwhile, everyone was having fun and celebrating Christmas at Tidmouth. From the cheery engines to the laughing children, all except one engine. <sighs> Where are those two? They were supposed to come back by now. They probably got stuck fighting with each other somewhere. <laughs> well, they're missing out. Well, something must have happened. I'm going to find out where they are. Your choice, then. So Wilbur puffed away. Snow began to fall down. All the while, Wilbur was looking high and low for Bill and Ben. Where could they be? Bill? Ben? Where are you? It's cold. I know that. Hush. Wait. Did you hear that? Sounds like someone's coming. Huh? A blue figure appeared from the fog and snow. The engines breathed a sigh of relief. Wilbur! Bill, Ben, there you are. What happened? Well, well, the trucks pushed us, and then we couldn't- Wait here, I'll be back soon. No, wait, where are you? But he had already gone off again. He was determined to help them out. After all, it was still Christmas. He thundered through Tim without even looking at the other engine. Where is he running to? Maybe he's seen another ghost! <laughs> come on, come on! Yeah, I hope they're alright. Here I am. What's up with those frowns on your faces? I told you I'd come back for you. Even after how we've treated you? Of course. Nobody gets left behind. Not even cheeky bees like you two. Thank you, Wilbert. The twins were rescued and remained respectfully silent. Wilbert then left the breakdown train in a siding and puffed off to the Christmas party. As the falling snow decreased, everybody at the station cheered and whistled as the three engines puffed in triumphantly. The Fat Controller, too, smiled happily. Everyone got back to celebrating and having a wonderful time. As for Bill and Ben, they had learned their lesson. They apologized to Wilbur, now fully respected him, and promised to behave and respect other engines, no matter what. Christmas everyone.